Hey guys, welcome back. I'm sitting here right alongside my WL Toys A979B. I recently put out a couple of videos on this RC where I converted it to run basic 10th scale electronics. I put in a regular 10th scale brushed ESC. Today I went for a run and you know what? It burned down. There was literally smoke. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to catch it on video, but we're going to do a second take here. We're going to try to connect back the ESC. I was able to repair it a little bit. Right now it's kind of all in disarray. You could tell it's all wobbly. Doesn't really matter. I'm not going to spend the hot glue to put this thing back in. What wound up happening is it probably was a short circuit. So you could see right over here, I had to resolder one of these uh, connections. So this black terminal, I resoldered it. You could tell there's a lot of fire damage here on the side of the case. But you know what? I was able to get it to uh, function minimally, but I did notice that there's still some kind of short circuit inside. Uh, the steering is operable. We're going to connect it here. And we're going to check it out in a minute. But let me just tell you a little bit more about it. So. Um, you know, it basically went into full throttle. Uh, I don't know what happened, but when I took the body off, this lead was disconnected. Uh, all I did was solder it back on, and right now we're gonna reconnect all of it again. We're gonna see if it could actually, uh, you know, do anything. I might not connect the motor leads back up. You can see the motor leads are disconnected because last time it went into full throttle, it was kind of scary. Uh, the remote control wasn't even operable at that time. Luckily, the thing was flipped over on its on its roof, so it didn't. It wasn't a runaway. So you know, it wasn't really a little runaway like that song, right, from the '80s. But I was sitting in my car, you know, enjoying some pizza, this thing kind of on my shoulder here, you know, like a monkey on my back, thinking of what I should be doing. So I went home, I uh, took the ESC apart, I resoldered the connection that came loose. You guys could see right here, it is really loose. Well, not loose, it, you guys could see right here, I was able to resolder it back. Um, the connection is good. It still seems to be short circuited, but it is operable. Let me turn it on. You guys will see that the front wheels do in fact steer. So let me do that for you now. Okay, so the system is all connected. See that the steering is basically, it seems to be steering itself. So you see that I'm not doing that. The servo is being steered by itself. And in fact, it is getting a little bit hot. So you know what? I'm not gonna keep this connected for a long time. Let's just check what it is with a temp gauge right here. And it is going up. I could see it going up. So right now it is 75 degrees let's see what else i can get it to read here 79 already so it seems like it's going to be overheating pretty time soon look at that the servo is acting erratically okay up to 83 degrees now and i'm touching it with my finger it is hot so let's see what happens uh we'll see whether the thing will just you know disconnect and uh, this should be interesting. Hopefully it doesn't go into a full fire. I'll just kind of keep this outside like this. Let's see what happens. 116 degrees. So let me set it down and we're gonna observe what happens. And starting to smell kind of hot. 158 degrees guys. It's starting to smell pretty hot too. I could kind of smell the fire a little bit, the plastic burning. Let's see what actually happens. So the steering is now operable. That is weird, look at that. Okay guys, this is the final test. I've removed the drive shafts. As you could tell, there's absolutely no drive shafts in here. I'm gonna connect the motors and see what happens. Hopefully I can get this ESC to keep malfunctioning. Maybe it'll have another meltdown. Let's see what happens.